Hi, I'm Ms. Haley with the Huntsville Madison County Public Library, and today I'm going to show you how to make our very first summer reading kit. These kits are being handed out at the library for summer reading. You can reserve them online through our grab bags at www.hmcpl.org slash grab bags. This is one of our make and take crafts and this is for week one of summer reading. And our theme this year is fantasy and fairy tales and things like that. So our first craft is a Billy Goat's Gruff paper plate goat ornament. And he's gonna look like this when you're done. Super scruffy and cute. I really like my goat. And you can make a white one. I'm also today going to show you, this is my white, pure white sample. I'm also gonna show you how to add a little color to your goat if you want um, to do that. So when you get your make and take kit from the library, it's going to have two things in it for this one. It's going to have a sheet of instructions on how to make your paper plate goat ornament. And it's going to have a paper plate. And this craft is designed for our littler kids. So this is a pre-K to second grade craft. Um, older kids are more than welcome to do it as well though. And younger kids as well, but they may need some help from a parent. And really, you might need some help from a parent anyway to make this template. So that's what we're going to give you, but you also need a few things from home. So you will need some scissors, a black marker or Sharpie, a brown crayon if you want to add a little color to your goat, and you'll need some tape. You can also use a glue stick if you want for this craft, but I think tape works a little bit better, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So first of all, we need to make our goat template. And to start out with, I like to flatten my plate a little bit, nothing crazy, just a, just a smidge. It makes it a little easier to draw on. And we're gonna draw our template. Now, you have the picture of the template right there on your directions for you to follow with. And if you want, you can get an adult to help you with this part. So we want our head to be a little bit wider than our chin. So it's gonna taper down. And our chin is about three fingers, three adult fingers wide. So I'm gonna put my three adult fingers down here and I'm gonna put a little mark there and a little bit mark there, okay? And our head is about four adult fingers wide. So I'm gonna set my hand there and I'm gonna put a mark on either side of it. And then I'm gonna taper down towards those marks. So I'm just gonna draw a line down towards those marks. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna use the flip side of this. So we have our head. So for our ears, you wanna make a mark here in the middle and we're gonna draw a curved line like that. So from our dotted line to the middle mark, we're gonna do the same thing right here, curved line. And I'm making a lot of marks on my paper where the white, that's gonna be part of his ear, but it's okay because I'm gonna use the back side of our plate for, to make our um, template. So then you're going to do the horns. So again, you need a mark in the middle. We're gonna make a bigger one. So all the way from that curved circle, and that's what you're gonna use is that circle curve in the, on the inside there, that right there, that little part circle. And you're gonna draw along that. And so this space here and this space here is not going to be part of our goat. That is going to be just scrap. You don't need that part. So you're done with your marker for now. We're gonna need it for the face in a little bit. And on our picture sample, we went ahead and drew the face on there for you so you know where to go. But I'm actually going to use the back side of my plate to make my goat. That way the lines um, won't be seen if I don't manage to cut them all off. So to start out with, I'm going to cut along these dotted lines like that. And then the same thing on the other side, like that. So that is gonna be my goat face. So we're gonna turn that over and we're gonna use this side so that the black marks aren't seen. If you want the inside of the plate to be your goat face, that is fine too. 
You can either do it exactly as I did or you can draw the template on the other side. That is entirely up to you, he's your goat. So now I'm going to cut off this little circle here. I guess half circle, that's not a real full circle, is it? And then I'm gonna cut those in half and those are gonna be my horns. So I'm gonna set those over there and I'm gonna set that aside, that scrap. So same thing here, I'm gonna cut along my line. And that's one ear. And I'm gonna cut along my line. And that's ear number two. And we're gonna set that aside. So you are done with your scissors at this point. You can put those away. And we're gonna draw our face on our billy goat now. So to draw your face, I'm gonna turn it so you guys can see real well. You want two ovals and you wanna keep it within the little circle of the plate. That's kind of his face area there. You don't wanna go up here onto the, um, the ridged part of the plate. So draw two ovals. Like that and then you're gonna draw just a little half circle right there and we're gonna fill in the bottom part with our marker that is gonna be his eyeball you can do any kind of good eye you want though you don't have to do this shape I am just showing you the way to do it so it matches the template but if you wanted a fancy eyeball or with eyelashes or any kind of eye you want you can draw it so for his nose, you're going to do sort of a sideways C. You could also kind of make it pointy if you wanted. And then you're going to put a line down from that. And then you're going to do another slightly bigger sideways C. And another one like that. So he has a cute little goat mouth. So for my goat, let's see. I think I want his chin to be a little colored, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of brown on the bottom of his chin. You do not have to do this. You could have an all white goat if you want, or any other color, maybe he's gray. He's gonna have just a dirty little chin. And I was wrong, you do need your scissors for one more thing. We are going to cut just little pieces right here. We're not actually cutting anything off, we're just cutting up so that we're making a little fringe on our goat chin, like his scruffy little hair. And then you can kind of flip them with your thumb and your fingers, play with them a little, make them a little scruffy looking. And we're gonna set that aside. We're actually gonna turn it over because we're gonna attach our ears. So our ears, I wanna make sure they go this way. And I want, I think I want the pointy side to be on what it gets taped down. We want this nice flat side uh, to be our bottom of our ear. And goats tend to have droopy ears like this. Now you can make them out, maybe he's a perky goat. That's up to you, but we're gonna put our ears there. And we're gonna just take a piece of tape and tape it down. The same thing on the other side, and they don't have to be even. Goats are kind of goofy looking creatures sometimes, so if his ears are a little lopsided, I think that would be pretty goat-like. So like that, and I'm going to add a little brown on the tips of his ears too. I think my goat is gonna have sort of a patchy brown on his ears. I think that'll be cute. like that. So now we're going to attach our horns and we want our horns to go not like this, like we would have horns on a lot of things, but they're going to go curve outward so that the curve of it is pointing out to the side of the goat. So like that. So that is how goat's horns curve. So we're going to put it on here. I'm going to take a piece of tape and attach it to the back side of my goat head. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna set it at an odder angle than the other, slightly different, because he's a goofy goat. And voila, you have a cute little goat 
Billy Goat Gruff. You can make a family. Thank you guys for joining us. I hope you enjoy our first summer reading craft and make a lot of paper plate goats for your house. Thank you.